This video was produced by the Clinical Skills Lab, University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover, in collaboration with the University of Bristol. The video describes one correct way of performing the technique. In some cases, there are several acceptable ways to perform the skill. Veterinary students should check with their university whether they have a preferred method. The Centre for Clinical Skills, University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover, demonstrates bandaging technique in dogs and cats in this video. A paw is shown on the model. You will need dressing scissors, swabs, cotton wool for padding, self-adhesive elastic bandages, gauze and tape. A plaster strip has already been prepared. Make four cotton wool strips to go between the toes. The strips should be long enough so that they can all be comfortably held in one hand around the dog's paw. Four strips are needed. In the real animal, the animal and the leg should be held by another person. The animal should be in lateral recumbency with the leg to be treated uppermost. An appropriate wound dressing is placed on the wound and covered with a swab. In this example, the wound is on the lateral limb at the same level as the dew claw so padding for the dew claw must be provided at this stage. The dressing is now fixed loosely with a gauze bandage. Next, the secondary layer is applied, which consists of padding. The areas between the toes are padded with a cotton wool strip. It is easiest if one hand can hold all the strips. It is important to ensure that there is also padding surrounding the dew claw, which was done earlier in this example. Now, a layer of cotton wool is placed around the paw from dorsal to palmar. With thin padding, make a double layer as shown here. This double layer could be prepared beforehand on the table. However, in this example, one layer is sufficient. Continue in figures of eight. Ensure the entire paw is covered with padding and continue to the next joint proximally. With limb bandages, the bandage is usually applied to the nearest joint to make a secure bandage. The padding is covered with a conforming bandage to hold it in place. Again, a double layer should be used to start. The paw and metatarsal bones are wrapped in figures of eight. This method of winding helps to prevent the bandage from slipping. The final or tertiary layer is a self-adhesive bandage. Start this in the same way from dorsal to palmar. Continue in figures of eight and from distal to proximal. It is very important to check the bandage is not too tight to avoid causing serious injury. Secure the bandage with adhesive tape. In cats, tape should not be applied to the skin as it can cause severe irritation. Finally, how to remove the bandage is demonstrated. In the real animal, the dressing can be opened using dressing scissors. In the skills lab, please remove the plaster strips by hand 
so that the bandage can be reused.